Hello, I'm Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Today I get to show off the game I've been working on in Dreams. I'm really excited. So let's check it out. The game is called Tomb. It's a Doom clone that I've made. Uh, first I want to say a very special thank you to Frank Cadillac. He helped me fix my first person character so that the camera wasn't absolutely horrible. Uh, yeah, this game is a lot like Doom. It's not exactly like Doom. It's kind of more similar to Doom 2016, but obviously it's not exactly like it. But it has the same kind of fast-paced uh, act, first-person shooter action and all that. So I'll read the description to you here. In the year 2027, a company mining on the moon discovers an artifact that begins to raise the dead. As a marine stationed on the U.S. moon base, you must stop the undead incursion before it spreads to the earth and it, too, becomes a tomb. Alright, let's get in and play it. So obviously I made the title screen look a lot like the Doom, um, the Doom title. Hopefully I won't get in trouble for using the same font as... It is the year 2027. Mankind has established several bases on the moon. Private companies have begun to mine it for resources. One such company found something unexpected. This cavern doesn't look natural. Oh, it's not natural. Look. This isn't ours. Is a rival company in our territory? I don't know. Let's open it and find out. So yeah, I've started using voice acting in my games, at least in this game. Um, I, I'll i use different um, tweaks to change how the voice sounds. I use distortion when they were talking on the radio and stuff, so you can't tell it's my voice every time. And of course I did the opening narration, uh, which I also changed, made it deeper so that you couldn't tell that it's the same voice actor. But anyway, so we're on the U.S. moon base. I was sleeping in my bunk. This is Tomb Guy. <laughs> and alarm's going off, so we gotta go find out what's going on. Skeleton is killing one of my comrades. Defend yourself. Press L2 to punch. Punching enemies will recover a small amount of health. So... Kind of the same idea as glory kills. Obviously they're not as good. It would be very difficult to make a bunch of cinematic glory kills like in Doom 2016. But the punching helps you recover health just like glory kills give you more health drops. So all of my comrades in arms have been killed. This guy's even got his head stuck in the fan. So I need to go upstairs and find my trust E shotgun on this crate over here. I got shotgun. The Trust E shotgun is Trust Corporation's premier firearm. It fires charged particles powered by long-lasting batteries and therefore has unlimited ammo. Like a normal shotgun, it is very powerful but only at close range. 
Equip the shotgun by pressing left on the directional pad. Unequip it by pressing any other direction on the D-pad. Fire the shotgun with R2. Copied the Doom 2016 intro there where he punches the, the communication panel. That the guy's was talking. It sounded as if the console I was speaking from was smashed. Luckily, I was able to patch into the headset in your helmet. Anyway, get to my laboratory up ahead. I will need my notes if I'm to stop all of this. So we're on the moon, of course. The original Doom is set on Mars. This game is set on the moon. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, lower gravity, just like on the moon. It's pretty cool you can see my character's shadow. really like how they did shadows in Dreams, so they actually work. Alright, need to head for the lab over there. I really like the idea of skeletons that can jump really high like that. Makes some pretty cool action. Oops. Here, I'm gonna let myself die so you can see what the game over is like. So when you get a game over, it restarts you. That was strange. It sounded as if the console I was speaking from was smashed. Luckily, I was able to patch into the headset in your helmet. Anyway, get to my laboratory up ahead. I will need my notes if I'm to stop all of this. All right. <laughs> but yeah, the idea of undead skeletons on the moon jumping really high because of low gravity, I think that's pretty cool. Makes for fairly good action and shooting. So first aid kits will fully recover your health. There's one here. a lot of fun. But yeah, very big thanks to Frank Cadillac. The, my camera, when I first made this first person character, the camera was absolutely horrible. It jiggled around and I couldn't figure out how to fix it, but he, he fixed my character for me, set me up with a contraption that uh, lets you move the camera. Um, the movement in this game isn't quite as free as I like. It's, I think it's basically take controls where you can turn and you can go forward and backward but you can't strafe side to side but it's 
it's you know it's better than it was and uh, I'm fine with it some people have said they'd like to be able to strafe but I don't know how to fix it and I'm just gonna have to deal with it like that so anyway this is the shadow abomination boss the way this works I have to get close to shoot it but if you get too close it starts to damage you oh almost killed me there so you've got to shoot him from far enough away that he doesn't damage you. Because he'll kill you pretty fast if he gets close enough. Whoa. Collect the necrotic energy to increase your maximum health. So now I have 200 health. Alright, there's the keypad. You're going to need to enter a 16 digit passcode, so listen carefully. Hey, you can't solve everything by punching it. How can that be? <laughs> so yeah, I kind of made a little parody there. In fact, I'm going to parody it quite a bit. The fact that Tomb Guy solves everything by punching it <laughs> instead of doing anything more complex than that. But uh, there's more to come, so stay tuned. Consider checking out YouTube channel Mac 4 day where I make tutorials and gameplay videos in green. Cool. So yeah, that is Tomb, my new game that I'm going to continue working on. Uh, this is version 0.1. It's probably We we'll probably are about one-tenth of the way through the game, so there's quite a bit more that I'm going to make before the end. So check it out in Dreams, and I hope you like it. Again, thank you to Frank Cadillac for saving the project because the movement and camera was so horrible on my first-person character that it would not have been an enjoyable game, but now it is, so thank you to him. So, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything's going to be okay. <laughs>